People used to say that trolls lived under bridges, but nowadays, they seem to have migrated to the comment section of YouTube videos. However, bridges still remain a place where we can discover some of the most bizarre and terrifying oddities. Here are eight of the strangest things that people have found under bridges. Number 8. Crocodile Bridge There is a popular tourist attraction on the highway from San Jose to Jocko called Crocodile Bridge. This bridge spans the Tarkoles River and has become a gathering spot for around a dozen American crocodiles, some of which are up to 13 feet long. Although these crocodiles are typically found in southern Florida, they also enjoy salty water like that in the Tarkoles River. Visitors to the bridge can stop for photos or even take a crocodile safari boat ride if they're feeling adventurous. However, it's important to remember that these are wild animals and should be respected from a safe distance. Unfortunately, there have been a few fatalities in the past when people got too close. In 2014, a man was eaten by a crocodile, although some speculate that he jumped intentionally. Despite the potential danger, vendors have set up shop nearby, selling crocodile-themed merchandise to tourists. If you're interested in seeing these impressive creatures up close and personal, a visit to Crocodile Bridge is definitely worth considering. Just be sure to stay on the roadside of the bridge for your own safety. Number 7. Texas Bridge Torso One of the last things you want to discover under a bridge when you're out fishing with friends is a body. But that was the reality for one group of men near the Brazos River in Walla County, Texas. The men found a black garbage bag around 50 feet from the river's edge. They opened it and discovered a body while unfortunately finding bodies under bridges is not rare, finding this type is. It had no arms, legs, or head. Walla County Sheriff Glenn Smith said his team had been working hard to identify the victim, find out their gender, and look for evidence. There were a lot of tire tracks in the area which could point them in the direction of the person who dumped the body. It also wasn't ruled out that it could be drug or gang related. Number 6. A Witch Doctor The Kamukaipa Bridge in Kenya has witnessed a lot of tragedy in recent years. In just one month, almost 160 traffic accidents took place on it, resulting in the deaths of 19 people in a single crash, including 12 members of the same family. There were also 12, 7, and 2 fatalities in other accidents. In response to this, a traditional medicine man visited the area beneath the bridge to see if he could find anything that might be causing the accidents. He discovered strange creatures in the holes under the bridge that he believed were responsible for the high number of accidents and fatalities. According to him, the bridge was cursed with a black spot. However, not everyone agreed with the witch doctor's theory. Some people believed that the creatures were likely just dogs, sheep, or cows, and that they were unlikely to be responsible for a curse on the Kamakuiwa Bridge. Instead, they thought that the accidents were probably caused by a combination of factors such as poorly maintained roads, a lack of traffic law enforcement, vehicle overloading, and drunk driving. Number 5. Coffins in Tlalaplanta de Baz, Mexico, a resident named Angel Porter stumbled upon an unusual discovery while walking under a bridge in northern Mexico. He noticed a hole in the bridge and people milling around it back in 2017. After waiting for his turn, he peered inside and found 19 coffins crammed into a small space. He took photos, posted them online, and they went viral with 20 million views. When the France 24 observers team found the pictures, they contacted the city of Toulon Les Plantes to investigate. Meanwhile, police arrived at the scene to put a security cordon in place and cover up the hole. Police dogs were also present. Questions arose immediately. Were there people in those coffins? Why were they there? Who put them there? Representatives of the city explained that the coffins were gifted to the city from funeral homes to bury people who couldn't afford a casket or unidentified people. There were 16 adult coffins and three for children. The spokesperson also said the coffins were empty and that the bridge had been used as a storage facility as there was a door to get them into the gap. However, there was no proof that the coffins were empty at the time they were found and most bystanders thought it was an awfully strange place to store coffins. Number 4 ancient Native American remains. In 2018, a bridge inspector with the Texas Department of Transportation came across remains under a bridge while carrying out an inspection. 
The bones were protruding from the ground, and the inspector immediately phoned law enforcement and the Freo County Sheriff's Office. His belief was that the bones might relate to a cold case. However, once experts from the highway department arrived, they dated the bones to around 1,000 years ago to a Native American man. The body was flat on its back with his knees in the air, as was the tradition at the time, with a spear buried next to him. The body is thought to be a one-off rather than part of a larger burial ground. At the time, nothing was known about the man's cause of death, any tribal connections, or his age. Given the cultural significance, the Texas Department of Transportation contacted Indian tribes to find out what to do with the remains. They would not remove it until they had permission from Native American groups finding remains of that age after the construction of a bridge is rare. Normally, if remains are to be found, they are done so during the initial building phase. Therefore, this is definitely one of the more unusual discoveries under a bridge. Number 3. Secret Fallout Bunker During the Cold War era, many people built fallout shelters and emergency survival bunkers to have a safe and secure place to hide with supplies in case of an evacuation. These shelters were often located in various public points throughout the city, in backyards, or in hidden bunkers in wooded lots. However, finding one inside the Brooklyn Bridge was unheard of until 2005. During a routine inspection, inspectors for the New York City Department of Transportation stumbled upon a hidden room in the Manhattan anchorage of the Brooklyn Bridge. The room contained supplies dating back to 1957 and 1962, including blankets, a shock prevention drug called dextrin, and around 350,000 high-calorie survival crackers. The origins of the supplies were traced back to the Office of Civil Defense, which is now known as FEMA. However, nobody knows who put the supplies there or for what reason. The general public will never know the exact location of the supplies, as all the rooms and tunnels within the bridge's anchorages are off-limits. The NYC Department of Transportation also refrains from disclosing the location to prevent people from trying to find them. Number 2. 100-Year-Old Hobo Graffiti Graffiti is a common sight in Los Angeles, ranging from full murals to the scrolls of teenagers who sneak out at night. However, the discovery of graffiti left behind by freight train hoppers from the early 20th century is less common and more intriguing. Anthropologist Susan Phillips discovered markings under a century-old bridge that belonged to well-known hobos such as the Tucson Kid, a number one, and Oakland Bread. The markings, which have survived the test of time, were rare because tramps usually used grease pencils or chalk. A number one, also known as Leon Ray Livingston, authored several books about the hobo life. He started out of necessity, continued because he loved the lifestyle of travel, and kept going because he knew nothing else. His books described the tramp life and provided practical tips on how to make it work. He was responsible for creating universal graffiti signs underneath bridges that all hobos could understand while traveling. These signs could communicate various things, such as warning about road conditions, alerting about authorities, informing about thieves, or pointing out nearby trains and trolley stops. And number one was one of the most well-known tramps of his time and was laid to rest in Pennsylvania with a gravestone that read, and number one at rest at last. Number one, Old Tums. The familiar nursery rhyme London Bridge is falling down is often sung by children, many of whom are unaware of its historical implications. It's said to hint at the ancient belief that human sacrifices were needed to maintain the stability of London Bridge. Such eerie tales, along with actual events, might have unnerved the workers involved in the construction of the London Bridge. In 2007, during the preparations for the opening of the London Bridge Experience, a tourist attraction in London, Builders were tasked with excavating ancient tombs beneath the bridge, including a vault in the basement filled with skeletons. Managed by two brothers, the crew reported unsettling occurrences, lights flickering off despite functional electrics and tools, ranging from hammers to power drills, disappearing mysteriously. Even the most stoic workers were reluctant to work alone in the tombs. One worker even declared he would quit if he encountered anything eerie. The brothers considered consulting a medium to uncover the mysteries lurking beneath London Bridge. The site, now a tourist hotspot, was historically a plague pit and possibly a cemetery for Southwark Cathedral. Adding to the spine-chilling history, 
several individuals were executed on the bridge with their heads displayed at the trader's gate. Given this macabre background, it's no surprise that the area exudes a creepy aura and has been the site of bizarre incidents. Evidently, there's more than just mythical trolls that might be found under bridges. What is the most disturbing discovery you have made? Have you ever found anything under a bridge? Also, check out our other cool content appearing on the screen now. See you next time.